Hello and good day to you. Today's video will be making plantain chips. So here we need your plantain, unripe one, you can use a slightly ripe one. This is a vegetable slicer and we'll be using, let me zoom in so that you see it there. We'll be using this slice blade. You need salt to season it. It's optional. I'm using sunflower oil. I'm using sunflower oil and you need your cooker or deep fryer depending on what you want to use and a frying pan if you are using um, a cooker. If you are using a cooker. So I'm going to just peel off the plantain now. I'll use the knife to remove all the, uh, this uh, part that didn't come off clearly. Okay. So with my slicer. Just gonna place it. I'm just slanting it so that it can um, and and you see it's slicing underneath. You can see the um, the planting is there. So just continue like that. You can do as much as you want. It's up to you. It's your chips. And watch your fingers, please. It's getting too low for me. I have to watch my fingers. So I have to go gently. Or you can... Yeah. There's something you use to hold the grip. I don't know where mine is now. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just I'll just go gently over it. And the good thing is that you can do you can do it both left and right. If it's the left, all you need to do if you are left-handed, you can just tilt it and you can just slant it. But if you are right-handed, you can tilt it to suit whatever hand you comfortable with so here it is I'll add more to it because I love plantain chips as we know plantain um all right plantain as it's properly called that's the green one is properly called popularly called all right <laughs> plantain but the name of the the name of this uh, product uh, the product or item is called um, plantain. So it's probably called unripe plantain. This plantain is unripe. <laughs> this great one. So I'm going to do more. I love it. It's rich in iron. This unripe one is rich in iron. I don't know if the ripe one is rich in iron. I think I better do a study on that. Or a research on it. So I'll just tilt it and use my left so that I don't cover the camera and we we'll just and it's healthy. So we just grate them quickly and please watch your fingers. <laughs> you don't want blood on your chips, right? Okay. So 
to watch my fingers now. And, uh, okay, here I go. It's done. Nice much. For only me. <laughs> no one else, just me. So I'll just put add a little a pinch of so this is too much. I'll just take a little from it. And add it. Please don't add too much salt. And I'll give it a good shake. Then we we'll put it in the fryer. I'll be using a frying pan and there's already oil in it. Before I started, I set my frying pan um, to heat a little. So we'll take it there and start frying. I just threw one now to check if my oil is hot. I'll add the others. The oil is hot and it's ready. Try to separate them because I don't want them to be sticking to each other. I just put a little. I think the oil is too much and <laughs> it's quite hot. So I don't want to. So I just put a little while I try and separate them. You can hear the whistling sound. Alright, just leave that to fry a bit. While it's getting fried, you get um, a plate, you can get your plate and put a um, paper towel or tissue, serviette, popularly called serviette, you can put it on top. This is going to drain the oil when we take our ready chips on the plate. So get that ready while you're waiting for it to get fried or to get ready. Just going and toss it a little. If you are tossing it a little, you will find out you will discover that it's getting a bit hard. Not the soft tech, um, the soft and uh, chips you put in. It's getting a bit crispy. You fill it with the spoon, and also the sound, the whistling sound. You notice that it's changing. can still use your um, fish slice or your frying spoon to pierce the mi middle of one to find out if it's really ready. And you also notice that the color starts changing into a deep ye intense yellow. And please don't allow it to get burnt. Shouldn't turn brown. <laughs> Just a little intense yellow. That's all right. And if you listen to it carefully, you hear a kind of um, I don't know how to describe the noise. Don't worry, when you try it, you understand. The whistling sound is changing, and you find it that um, the spoon, as soon as uh, 
as the uh, plantain chips hit each other, it has this kind of uh, creeps noise you hear. So it's ready and it's turning a little um, yellowy brown. So it's ready now. Careful. Oil is hot, very hot. You have to be extra careful. You don't want to hurt yourself. I'll just fry the others. You need to be careful not to put too much because the oil is. Uh, I don't want it to come out of the pan. And try and separate them. Separate them. You want to. I don't want them to be sticky. That's why I'm trying to separate them. So it's ready now. You can see that it's turned a little intense yellow. I want it to be brown. It can be a little bit brown. It's up to you, but not too brown. You don't want it to get burnt. the plate with the paper towel and remember to turn up your cooker okay that's all right that's our plantain chips ready and I'm just going to take a bite and here how crunchy it is and it's delicious Thank you for joining me to make this plantain chips. 
join me in the next, hope you join me in the next video when we we're making cupcakes with ice cream guys we're using ice cream in a mixture of our cupcakes thank you